Thanks for rolling up. Tulip Bar is there about by it. Smoke it over the uh, night time. Uh, Splish this shit. Oh. I'm going to jump into uh, the weed news and see what we got happening and shit, bro. Medical marijuana shops across the St. Louis region are having to beef up their security after a string of break-ins and now drive-ins. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ann Al. I say St. Louis, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri is uh. Missouri, Missouri ain't wreck, is they? They what? They they, they medical? I don't think Missouri's wreck, is it? Yo, if you for Missouri, comment section. Let me know y'all got wreck in that bit, bro. All red. Mike Bush has the night off tonight. Police are looking for a group of people that ran a car into a cannabis store on Vandeventer in the Forest Park Southeast neighborhood. That happened early this morning. Five on your side, Travis Cummings is live there. And Travis, this is a fairly new business. Most of them are probably only a year old. So hold on. You said they ran a car into the dispensary. They ran into, they, they, they bust the door open or like, like somebody was driving and they crashed. Like, was it, was it? Was it an attempt to get into the building or was they like running from somewhere else and crashed into the building? Yeah, and Luxury Relief hasn't even been here a year. In fact, we covered their grand opening in February. Today, they're boarding up their doors. They were closed for business. This is a situation this store and others like it don't have to deal with, but are forced to prepare for. What? He said. This store and others like it don't have to deal with, but are forced to prepare for. Don't have to deal with it. Didn't somebody just do that shit? What you mean they don't have to deal with it? Drilling and boarding up becoming the norm at medical dispensaries across St. Louis. Police say around 4 Thursday morning, a Hyundai and a Chrysler 300 pulled up to the luxury leaf here on Vandeventer with multiple people inside. A blue Hyundai backed into the entrance of the store, damaging the doors, trying to break in. Officials say neighbors confronted the group. That's when the suspects started shooting at them, only hitting their vehicles. The group then led police on a chase and got away. Five of your side. So these niggas, so you say, you say these niggas pulled up to, to the dispensary, right? Put the car in reverse, boom, back into the joint, doom, doom, doom. Can't, can't get in the bitch, right? Some bystanders are passing by, you see them niggas doing that shit and try to stop these niggas? I mean, well, trying to stop, trying to stop them is, is, is there's some good Samaritan shit to do. But you see the outcome. These niggas. Flooping, 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 bruh. These niggas. Side has covered several break ins like this across the St. Louis region recently. Sources familiar with the trend say the same group of thieves have struck at least a dozen times at shops across the region. At first, it was mostly broken windows and doors. And now three shops have seen cars go through them. Here's foot. Oh, no, he says it's the same group of niggas. How they know it's the same group of niggas? From some stores that have been burglarized across St. Louis and. Good St. Lord, yo. Yo, they would just shit, bro. They not playing, bro. They driving right through these motherfuckers, bro. Lewis County. So I don't know who drives around with rocks in their cars, but that's what they're doing. And they're trying to smash the windows. Greenlight Dispensary has been hit four times this month, catching the thieves on surveillance, making unsuccessful attempts. Now putting up. Four times in a month. Y'all niggas have no security, bro. They just know y'all niggas is an easy lick. How the fuck? 
four times in a month, bro. Up concrete barriers to stop the criminals from smashing and grabbing. We want people to feel safe to shop in Missouri. Um, the whole reason of having stores is a safe place for them to go. And all they're doing is disrupting business and making us sweep up glass till two in the morning until we can open the next day for our patients. Joe Patterson is a former police officer who helps marijuana companies find ways to keep their stores safe. But the security needs to be a huge underlying force in all the business operations because it is an industry that's being targeted. And for criminals, a warning. We are taking extraordinary measures to harden our facilities, and we want it to be known that these aren't really worthwhile crimes to commit. So you mean they're not worthwhile crimes? Like, these niggas is getting away. Yeah, these niggas is getting away. You ain't catch these niggas. What you mean, bruh? And if you have anything that can help police solve these crimes, that can be information about the suspects, their cars. You're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. We're live in South City tonight. Travis Cummings, 5 on your side. This nigga Travis is coming five times on your side. <laughs> oh, so, bro. Yo, alright, bro. Yo, if you got any information, bro, like if you got some of that weed, <laughs> these niggas what they weed back, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas ain't getting no help, bro. Y'all niggas not getting no help. Y'all better build a moat around those motherfucking stores or something, bro. <laughs> 